G'day guys, so I've seen a lot online about how there hasn't been any kind of mod loader or mod organizer for Kenshi for quite a while. People want something like loot from the Elder Scrolls games where you can just put in all the information and it just sort of calculates what's the best load order for your game. Um, but there's a solution now, there is one. It's available, well, it is in active development and it's quite early on, but I've seen some success with it and I wonder if you guys will as well. If you're like me and you have a truly disgusting amount of mods installed, you know, um, sometimes you run into problems, sometimes conflicts arise and you don't know how to organize your, your mod loader or your, your mod load order rather. Um, and there were some ways you could go about it. You could edit the text document in the, the config files and that sort of thing to try and organize it um, and use common sense. But if you're like me and you don't want to think about that sort of thing, you just want something to do it for you, there's a solution now. It's fantastic. Um, so I'll put it in the description, but it's basically um, this guy's made this small program on GitHub called the Mod Kenshi Mod Tool. <clears throat> so opening it for the first time, what is the game folder? This is my game folder. It automatically selects it, so you've just got to select yes. Are you using the Steam version? Yes, I am. Um, and it's just looking for this folder, which is the one you're in, well, I am in already, and yours should be the same. So select that as well. And here we go. It's the mod, Kenshi Mod Loader by Miller Scout. Um, good for him. This seems to work really well, in my experience anyway. It, um, some things you can see, work in progress, beta. It's very early on a development, but good for him for giving us this, like, this is great. So what do we do here? Um, basically, it's very simple. If I wanted this right now, for the sake of it, I'll do this. I'll save this mod profile. So what I'm basically doing is saving a backup of the the list as it stands right now. Now I have been having some, some problems with this load order. I've been crashing and that sort of thing. But just for the exercise, I'm just gonna save it to the desktop. I've, I've actually already saved it there, but we'll overwrite it. So my game crashes when I load this load order, basically. Um, so what you can do now, really simply, that's backed up, order the mods. Let's click that, boom. As you can see, it's loaded them. I don't know if you saw it, but, but um, everything got organized just then, really handy. You can go through it, you know, you can click on the mods and it'll give you a little description, author, version, where it is, a link to the Steam files if you're using the Steam version, I assume. But yeah, this is organized now. And it's great, we can just click save mod load, load save mod order. And that will just save to the text document basically that stores the load order uh, the load order for Kenchi. And bing bada boom, it's in there. So Kenchi's open already, as you can see. Um, this is how it looked before, so I'll just refresh it right now. Boom, changed. Everything's organized. Um so I can start this now and I should just pretty much get no problems. Um, it is an active development, so there is some sort of things that, you know, you might run into some problems. I've run into a problem already where um, on his website, on his GitHub, he, he sort of shows off that you can look for conflicts with mods. Um, and it involves sort of you having to add a... Um, a line of code to one of the config files and then being able to unlock that part of the program basically because it's still in development. Um, mine still doesn't work when I click it. Like I'll click it and it will just not work. I'll do it right now. Um, show conflicts. This will come up. Yep. Check conflicts. And then it'll just crash, which is unfortunate. But this is what we really want. We want to be able to load it, change the load order, and that's what it does. So. As you can see, this still does come up for me. I'm not too sure why, but it's loaded anyway. Now let's load Kenshi up. Let's start a new game. Shobatai. Beep. Just click through this. Sean, mate, let's do it. Run around. And yeah. It's working. Like normally before I would walk over here and it would just crash. <laughs> um, 
uh, it would obviously loaded some sort of mod or something that had a conflict and the game just gave up. Something I did uh, realize also when um, I installed, when I changed the mod order, is mods that had previously been activated but for whatever reason weren't displaying properly or loading properly because of a conflict were fixed. So although they weren't crashing the game, uh, well, at least I don't think they weren't crashing the game, um, they're working now. You know what I mean? Like they've been activated properly. So this is one um, I had where these red lines that show roads on the map. Uh, I had this installed. It wasn't crashing the game, but these red lines weren't coming up. But now they are. So good changes. And yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. So it's like a, it's good to have this sort of mod loader um, tool now for the community. And I'm really excited to see him sort of build upon it. And um, hopefully we can get those conflict conflict feature working because that was I think that would be really handy, especially in sort of seeing what kind of problems the game has to deal with and that sort of thing. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you later.